Hi, I'm Amy Harris, Assistant Library Director, and I will be showing you today how to use Zotero with Word to create papers using the Turabian style. This video assumes that you already have Zotero and that you just need to add Turabian citation formatting to make it work properly. We're going to click on the gear, then click on preferences, and then under the cite tab, we will choose styles. This shows us all the styles that currently come with Zotero. However, we need Turabian. So we click on the link, get additional styles. On the Zotero webpage, in the search box, type Turabian. You'll only have two choices. You'll click on the first one, Turabian 8th edition. This will download the file into your downloads folder. Going back to Zotero preferences, now we want to click on the button with the plus sign. It's going to take us to the download folder. We click on Turabian and then click open. Click on install. And now when we scroll down through the style manager, we'll see that Turabian 8th edition is included. Also check the box for include URLs for paper articles in references. Click OK and Turabian and Zotero are now ready to work for you. On the library citation page for Turabian, there is a Word template that you can download and use with Word. For my example, I've already used the template and I can enter the title of the paper, subtitle, student name, course, and the date. On the second page, we have first heading. For most students, this is your introduction. If you're not sure what to put here, please ask your professor. For our first item, I'm going to make an in-text citation using Zotero. So I've clicked on the Zotero tab and then click on Add Edit Citation. For this one, I'm going to choose this article by Conway. I happen to know that the quote is on page 23. When I click OK, you'll see that it puts the one in superscript, and then down below it has put the citation or footnote that you need. Now for some professors, and according to the Turabian manual, you want this to be tabbed over on the first line. You can just put your cursor in front of it and hit tab and it will do this for you. If you or your professor want a space between the first and second entries, you can just put your cursor at the end of this footnote and then hit enter. Notice that because Zotero is smart and keeping track of our sources, it already knows that sources one and two are the same and has put it in. We just need to put our cursor at the end and hit enter in order to create the space for the third citation. So as we go down, you can see that uh, we may need to fix some citation, but the format itself is sound. When we get to the bibliography, which is actually the best part for Zotero, we want to make sure that bibliography is centered and then we go up to the top under the Zotero tab and click on insert bibliography. Zotero will then read through our paper, see all the sources that we have, and put them in correct Turabian citation format. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact Glenn Pearl or call the library's main number. I've also included links that will take you to more videos on Zotero and how to set it up.